a little bit So first, uh, tell us about a uh, little bit about you and yourself. <coughs> well, I come from Singapore. Okay. All the way here to uh, try to live a dream. That's to climb Mount Everest. Um, what's your good name? My name? Yes. Yeah, my name is Chin Wee Kin. Chin Wee Kin. Yes. Why Everest? Well, I came here on the track about 18 years ago on the Everest Base Camp track and up on Kalapata, I <coughs> saw Mount Everest. I thought maybe one day I'll come back. Okay. And you, and you came back and you submitted the Everest? Yes. How are you feeling now? I'm very happy. <laughs> um, honestly, when I was standing on the summit of Mount Everest, I was devoid of any emotion. I wasn't really happy or anything. But I was actually happier when I learned that my friend was safe in Kathmandu. Ah. Yeah. She climbed the day before us, had a little accident and uh, fortunately she's well. I thought we were happier with that than being on the summit of Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. But happy to be up there. What kind of trainings you had before Everest? Well, I spent the last two years of my life uh, traveling and climbing some mountains. Okay. And uh, when I'm not climbing mountains back in Singapore, I'll be uh, carrying a backpack. 20, 25 kilograms and just walk up the hills and down. That's what I do. Um, how many mountains you have climbed so far? More than 10 at least. Okay. I think the main ones I was with. Uh, Manaslu, went up Denali, went up Aconcagua, the usual island peak Mabuche, uh, Mount Vincent, Antarctica, and a few small little mountains in China recently. Mm -hmm. So what after Everest? Don't know actually. I may follow these guys to K2. Okay. Um, <laughs> what would you like to say about uh, Fuwa, Pembadai and the team? I must say, I've joined many companies, including Western companies for expedition. I must say, I'm very happy with uh, Dreamers Destination. I think they've done very well, organized things very well. And uh, to be fair, I think almost perfect. Okay, so Dreamers Destination supported you to find your dream and destination. Well, they helped me fulfill my dream. Yeah. Without them, it was never possible. Mm -hmm. uh, what about uh, the service they provided? I think a uh, very good service right from the start to the end. Mm -hmm. I've got no complaints at all. And uh, I mean, comparing food, tents and logistics, I think they've done very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, how about your Sherpa? My when Sherpa? you climbed Mount Everest? Yep, very good. Uh, who was he? Uh, oh, Pemba here. <laughs> 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 he followed me right behind me, right from the start <coughs> to the end. And I think there's nothing better he can do. I have been uh, other mountains where I don't even see the guy at times. Or at other times, the guide would be discouraging the clients, ah. basically telling you, I think you're too slow, I think that's it, enough, time to go back mm. and terminate the expedition. Mm. I've seen guides like that, but it never happened in Dreamers. So I think they're supporting people with dreams, mm -hmm. not just uh, providing a logistical support and uh, trying just to earn the money. That's all. Mm. There are so many people who, who have dream, but they don't dare to fulfill their dream, right? So what would you like to say to them? I think it takes time for people to want to live their dream. Because as, including me, myself, as we grow up, there are other things we need to think about. We need to have a career, earn enough money to have a family and those things. And not easy for anybody to just drop those things and live their dream. But to me, don't forget your dream. One day, leave it. Um, 
so it's my personal curiosity. How old are you? 48. 48. Okay, thank you.